Did you know that they're making a second movie for this? Oh boy. Coming to America. Have you did you see the first one? I seen the first one. Okay. They're making a second one. What was the old one? Nineteen nineteen eighty eight. Oh. It was like fifteen. You just graduated. Elementary school. It's your boy Legend. I am back, and I'm actually super excited about the shoe. It's about a movie that I grew up on. Uh, I've seen at least 15, 20 times in the past two years. It's coming to America. For those who don't know the story, real quickly, Prince had his birthday, decided that he was going to come to America, coming to America to find his bride. And of all places, he went to New York. So the shoe that I'm about to go over with you, I'm not going to take a whole lot of time out of your day. I want you to just see it because I saw it and had to pick it up the day that it came out. We'll tighten. This is the Coming to America edition of the Nike Blazer Mid 77 Vintage. So this is an old school shoe, which is, which is why I'm gonna keep it really, really short because there's not a whole lot of new technology to go into. But if you've ever seen Coming to America, you know that he worked at a place called McDonald's, which looked a lot like McDonald's, but McDonald's had the golden arches. McDonald's had... So McDonald's had the golden arches, McDonald's had the golden arc. So that's how, I guess they, that's how they kept from getting in trouble with copyright infringement, which is something that we all in YouTube try to avoid in general. But this is, like I said, the Nike Blazer Mid 77. It is an old school shoe. It has old school tech, so it has a lot of old school comfort as well. So this isn't going to be one of those shoes that you're going to wear all day like you would do like your Yeezys or your Vapor Maxis. It has the herringbone traction, which is great for an on-court feel because this actually used to be a basketball shoe. So just like your Chuck Taylors and a lot of old shoes, this is what your favorite athlete back in the day, this is what they were wearing while they were balling. Um, but if you look at it, it is actually the color of the uniform from McDonald's. So you get, my favorite part though is the stitched Nike swoosh. It is really well done, and this is the part that actually made me pick this shoe up. I was walking by and I was like, hmm. That's exactly what I said. I said, hmm. Picked it up, and as you can see, I brought it home. This isn't one of those purchases I did not tell you know who about. Them. All right, but when I started to look at it, I didn't know it was coming to America at first until I looked at the tongue tag. Now, with all Blazer Mid 77s, you have that unfinished tongue but this has the Coming to America branding right on the top. And it says Nike sports shoes are manufactured to the exact spe specifications of championship, championship athletes around the world. So it kind of says the same thing that Michael Jordan shoes said that I didn't know, but when you turn it around, around back, you can see the logo, the Coming to America logo yet again. This shoe has not been branded as like a, a Coming to America collab. As we open the shoe up just a little bit, you can see of course, like I said, the unfinished tongue, but the green leather at the very top, really padded for ankle support. Now, I did get to open up the shoe just a little bit. I did go true to size on these, um, but there is a coming to America, the hat, that's part of the uniform, is on the insole. Now, the insole is pretty well glued down, so I'm not gonna pull that out. Uh, as I kind of look around at the shoe a little bit more though, because this coming to America is glued onto the fabric as opposed to being stitched like the rest of it. You do run into a little bit of glue marks throughout the shoe, but it's pretty much just at that top area where the blue is, uh, where the logo is glued onto the blue. The rest of it's pretty well stitched. I don't see any issues. I mean, of course you have some loose strings, but that's always gonna happen in the stitching process as far as the Nike swoosh goes. And I don't see any loose ends anywhere else on this particular shoe. Um, but all in all, this is probably going to be one of those shoes that you just kind of throw on when you have a nice clean fit in the summer. Blazers are one of my favorite shoes but I don't get to wear them as much just because they're not as comfortable as something else. So you always tend to grab something, especially if you're in a rush, it's just comfortable. Um, but again, just, just wanted to give you a quick look at a shoe that I picked up that actually I have not seen on the Nike website or any other store other than the one that I picked it up in. A lot of y'all really enjoyed last week and I want to throw this in there. A lot of y'all really enjoyed the shoe toss. I got a bunch of DMs. Um, to my Instagram, which by the way is I, at I am legend underscore 716. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, but they enjoyed the shoe toss. I took that away from them and I just went ahead and put it in my box this time. Uh, but that'll be back because I know you all enjoyed it. Uh, but as always, 
Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button for notifications. That way you get notified every time I post a video because I promise you I got some more stuff coming. Um, tell me what you think down in the comment section. Appreciate you all coming by. Peace.